Oh yeah, strike a pose. <laughs> so uh welcome back guys to Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth Work Mode 1.5. Where we last time went off into a cave. Yeah. You missed that episode, shame on you. That's fine, you can always go watch it now. Um <laughs> and we finally got it. We got crystal to finish off the set, so now we are completely beefed up as far as buffs go. Uh we got Look at this, 213.7 something, something, something armor. Because <laughs> we got this ramshackle, which is pretty good. And then we've got uh, thermal and uh, hypothermia. And then we've also got, of course, the water retention. So as you see, it's 112, and then 112, 112, 112, and 112. That's quite a bit, which uh, probably balances out to almost normal. But anyways, good news is we made it to level 40. Decided to do some building. So I had blueprints for one of these and I built it. And the great thing about this is you can actually fit our dinosaurs through it. So as a normal dinosaur gate, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to get those through, but they fit. Um, at least they did before I put the door in. <laughs> I haven't tested it. Maybe we should test that before I build any more of those. So I got a gate and then we went and we just made lots and lots of cactus. Uh, I mean clay because I decided we should maybe, you know, get prepared so if we find some place we could build another base. Of course not. I swear I went through this with the gates off, but now as soon as I got the gates in there, it's just a wee bit too narrow. Of course. Alright. I see how it is, Ark. <laughs> the struggle of the gates. Alright. Um, so we have to make a bigger gate just to get these guys through. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, they couldn't have made them just a wee bit smaller. Just a wee bit, you maybe? I don't know. Anyways... <laughs> I'm not going to wall off this place now, but we've been making lots of clay, I've been doing lots of tidying, I got stuff going, so we got uh, lots of stuff in there. I made a bunch of propellant so we can make more fire arrows. I put a bunch in storage so we don't have to worry about using it all. We got more stuff, I got loads and loads of stone. So that comes to our next topic. We are now level 40, which means we can uh, make the Ankylo Saddle and the Thorny Devil Saddle. Thorny Dragon Saddle, sorry, not Thorny Devil. <laughs> And so, let's do this. I already learned them. And if my math's right, we should have enough resources, yep, to make both of them. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and test out this thing. It looks pretty sweet. It needs uh, metal, clay, and then of course, hide, fiber, and some wood. And then this one's just hide, fiber, and some metal. So it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and take that. And now we can get lots and lots of flint. Because I was thinking about getting a gun, but it's just all a matter of how much flint and stuff we can get. So let's go ahead, plop this onto you, like so. Oh yeah. We all the, know the Ankylos, majestic steed. And then boom. So I wanted to kind of test to see if we get any salt from this. I mean sand. And it looks like we don't, so that's great. I don't really need sand if I'm going to be trying to get everything else, so that's perfect. We just get all the goodies. That means I don't have to go all the way to the mountain just to smack, uh, smack those other rocks that only drop stone and flint. That's perfect. Okay. So that test is good. There is quite a bit of metal near the river. Uh, I could probably take the herd with us. It's going to gam up a little bit here for you guys. Two point, let's go 2.8. Uh, so we'll probably go do that while it's nighttime here. I like to film during the day because it makes it easier to see things. And it looks so nice. Uh, but <laughs> we'll go down there. Oh. Do get a level. Let's go ahead and keep pumping up that stamina, shall we? 957. Very sweet. And now, Coco's churn. So I have a, I think I've done health. She didn't have the best amount of health, so I decided to bump that up since she's going to be... <gasps> What's this? You're like, you got a smithy in your saddle. I almost thought you sounded a little bit like a beaver, but I didn't want to say it to your face. <laughs> it sounds like a beaver, walks like a beaver. It might be a beaver with spikes on it. Um, let's go ahead and give it a little test run. That bug has literally been stuck there for like ever. <laughs> so it got this cool little walk. I think that's probably how you'd walk if you had spikes all over your body and you didn't want to poke yourself to be honest. Oh, that's pretty cool. So the stamina is holding pretty firm. I mean we're just completely running at this point so probably movement speed. But the stamina is holding some decent amounts to it. Oh wow. And it's only, oh I guess, a thousand. That's pretty good. Let's do 
some other tests. Now it is even darker. It is nighttime, guys. Let's gamma up. Oh my gosh, it didn't go much. Gamma like 3.5. Just to make sure you guys can see at home. Uh, ooh, parser. So we want to see. So left click does that, and right click I'm going to assume is this one. I don't even know where those darts went. <laughs> Some poor parasaur is going to get a dart in its neck out of nowhere. Okay, so he went that way. If I look this way, oh, it's kind of based off of where you look. Oops, wait the heck. <laughs> if you press R while you're writing this thing, you throw it. I didn't realize that. I get those controls mixed up sometimes. Like I want to scroll forward to go first person and warband and then I just hit R and I did that. Alright so if we're looking say like dead center on that spine and we click right click. Oh nailed it. So pretty much if you got crosshairs it's easier but wherever you're looking at is where the darts go. Oh, okay. Makes it a little nicer so we don't have to line up everything. Alright let's go kill something. Let's go find us a parasaur since we're speaking to them. And then we'll figure out if we want to do some more, like if we want to make this a mobile mount or if it's going to be a killer. I'm like kind of tempted to try to do like massive amounts of speed. Oh my gosh, you can't even catch up to this guy. Start him. Oh my gosh. Like I'd like to kind of test out. Oh my gosh. Super. Oh, I almost got him. Like he's super slow compared to oh there's a raptor now. That's a good test. Okay, let's go ahead, first person. So you kinda gotta lead the darts. That was a horrible shot. <laughs> it's real hard to do when you don't have crosshairs. Oh, let's see if I can get one from there. No, they spread out too far away. Oops, dang it. I hit R again. The weirdest control button to hit when you have to hit F every other time. I'm thinking, yeah, if we can't do a lot of damage, then we'll probably just go into mobile. And then when we ta uh, tame, like, a higher level one, that's when we do it. But if we can do, like, a lot of torpor, like, I'm not even going to attack this thing. I'm just going to keep darting it. And if it falls asleep, that'd be sweet. Because if I'm thinking right, we can make it super speedy, and we just use this for, like, tranking stuff. But it doesn't seem to be doing a lot. Like a 16 should have gone down by now. Alright, we're just gonna kill you now. Okay. It's okay in the melee department. Meat wise, about average. It's just, I thought this did torpor. I'm gonna snag some oil while I'm here. Now that I have some use for it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I thought this did torpor. Let's go, how's your weight to only 354? I want to test something. If you have a saddle, are you really like a beaver? Let's find out. 24, look at that, I nailed it on an even number. 24, yo it is. He's pretty much like a beaver. He knocks it down by a fifth or a tenth. Yeah, that's sweet. No. What is one? 0.5, yeah. One fifth. That's not bad. Stone, 2.5. Oh, yep, cuts that in half. Thatch cuts that down. I'm not going to do the math on that one. Okay. Uh, you're already out of food. <laughs> you eat a lot, don't you? Let's do a little bit more health. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Let me do some more experimentation now that it's dark time, which is technically night time. But I like to call it dark time. <laughs> and let's see, like, I don't know. We might take this guy for a spin if I'm successful with my tests. All right, one, I'm an idiot because I just realized why it's R when you press to throw your guy. I don't know why you would want to throw him when you were on something, but it's because if he hit F twice, that would be for his normal thing. So in case they didn't want to confuse people, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this thing is like a giant beaver. <laughs> It really is a beaver on steroids because it harvests wood too. I should have checked that as soon as I thought about the beaver thing. But it does a good amount too. Like, look at this. 
I normally would have got about 20 some wood from those trees a piece and that's with a metal hatchet thinking of that that's amazing so yep it's pretty much a beaver on steroids now you're probably thinking hey why didn't you just read the dossier I didn't get one <laughs> I was too far away when this thing tamed out that I didn't get the dossier for it so we have to try to tame one I'm sure it's gonna say right there can carry wood can harvest wood it's like a giant beaver that throws spikes that I don't know actually what they do we're gonna have to tame one to find out if there's a specialty I literally sat there and that drains your stamina by the way like crazy amounts um, and I went and I tried and I tried and I tried and I just kept smacking a raptor that got stuck with this thing and it didn't do anything like it took some damage not as much as just biting it but there's probably something to it I don't know what it is maybe it's not actually torpor like you can't actually hit your own dinosaurs with it either like you can but watch nailed it and then nothing not even any damage so it has no effect no friendly fire with this thing but we'll have to tame another one one day once we get some more creatures like another if we get saddle for mountain which is 50 I believe then we can go get metal or meat a lot easier I don't know, and we could try taming a high level one. Yeah, 50. Then it's 55 for the RG, which I'm kind of tempted to go and try to get today, but that's a long time before we can actually ride it, and it's just more likely for it to get killed by a random attack by some raptors or something. It'd be like the one thing that got killed, probably. And a Rex is 60. Hmm. What else could we tame between then and there? So we're at 40. Let's go ahead and look at the Ingrams. Like, I really want to maybe tame one, but it's just a pain to find and get the Prime. Like I said, I just had no luck getting it by hand. And I don't want to bother making saddles for a Raptor just to try to get some Prime for it. 45? What the heck is this? This is a Saber Cat, I believe. What is this, though? I don't even know. That's part of Ark. Hmm. Regular Ark, I should say. Alright, uh, I'm going to wait till daytime. I'm going to think about what we're going to do. Now that we can get wood, though, we can build anything in anywhere. That's amazing. Let's go ahead. I'm going to just keep pumping up uh, movement, I think, a little bit on you. Just a little wee bit. So, been busy. Uh, lots and lots of spark powder has been made. <laughs> I'll show you that later, but right now I just want to show you this. The goggles actually work. They're kind of like scuba. They weren't working earlier. Like, they didn't have the outline but as soon as I put them on you'll see there's an outline and you can actually see somewhat past the initial sand as you can see I can see the mountain I can see the sky I can see the beacon but as soon as I go and I take them off I can just barely see them through the sand which is really cool I like that that they actually have another utility to get in the goggles <laughs> pretty sweet and we are ready to kick some butt. That's right, we made us a gun. Oh yeah, firepower. Big time. Um, <laughs> so I've also found a couple things interesting. Now these tents, they say they can be, you know, repaired. But you can't do it here. So I was like, okay. Because I noticed our tent was kind of getting a little damaged. So I was like, you know what, maybe we should top it off before we go. I took it in here. I threw it in smithy because I could load it up full of resources and I wouldn't have to worry because pretty much everything was in here. And it kept going, did it, did it, did it, did Like it would repair it, but it didn't repair it. And then it would like keep going over and over and over again. I was like, that's kind of weird. So I thought maybe it was a glitch. Actually, we're going to throw some of this in here just in case. I have lots of oil. We should make some uh, gasoline maybe while we're waiting. I got lots of fires going. I'm going to show you why. But, um,. And so I thought that was kind of weird. So I took it and I put it in my inventory and I repaired it and it did the same thing. It wanted to keep repeating the repair process, but the bar never changed and never filled up. And it was actually using all the resources it took. So every time it did it, it used four thatch, two fiber, eight hide, three wood, and two silk. And it never fixed it because then I brought it back out here just to test it and I plopped it down and it was still the same durability as when I picked it up. So. I guess right now they're kind of buggy or that's intentional. I don't know why you can repair it then if it's not supposed to be repaired. But anyways, um, if you want to get a proper tent, just make a new one. <laughs> it's just cheaper. So yeah, we've been busy. I, uh, oh gosh, guys, got us a 108. She, he's now 144. Joker here. I'm going to put his first level. We're going to do his health because why not? 
He's got 927 health, 525 stamina. He might be a good mount. I might have to bite the bullet and do a saddle for a raptor. But I've been kind of hoping to find like blueprints. Like blueprints for weapons, saddles. Because then I just wasted points on learning that saddle. And I can always make better ones for blueprints. But I haven't been able to get many blueprints. Another thing. We have spark powder for days. <laughs> Look at this. I had to make more mortars and pestles. We got gunpowder for days. I made this rifle. I got 30 some bullets. And I still got more metal. Oops, I can't move. Too much gunpowder. Anyways, um, I've been making spark powder like crazy because the Anklio, I think, got a little bit of a boost in that before you'd go out there and you'd get like lots and lots of stuff. Like constantly, you'd get lots of stuff. You'd get. Oh my gosh, that's such a. <laughs> Holy cow, Dodickers. I'm calling it. The Dodickers did that one. Pumpkin, yep. Dodickers have massive force in their sphincters. Um, where the heck do we go in this one? We're gonna take this guy out and uh, throw that all on you. So, um, distractions. The Anklu used to be able to, you know, you get your stone, you get your flint, and you get metal, of course. Well, you'd used to be like you go out there and you get tons of stuff. Like, pretty much you'd get so much stone with the Anklu that you didn't need to get a Dodicris. You could take it home. I would make up spark powder, of course, and I'd have enough stone to make spark powder for all the flint I collected, plus I'd steal extra stone left over I'd throw in the chest for building supplies. Well, now they've changed it to where I think you get way more spark or flint than you do stone. And also they changed their attack. It used to be able to, you could like headbutt stuff if you look straight on. Every single attack now is just the tail one, so it's kind of slower at harvesting, but you get the giant AoE attack, so I guess it, you know, pays out. Otherwise they were pretty OP. Like, you just go bam, 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 bam with the headbutts like crazy. But as you can see, I got 29 stone and uh, 101 flint. So, a lot different than before. So, that's why we got so much stuff going on in here as far as fires. Because um, I ended up with way more flint than I was expecting. So, we've been making it in all kinds of gunpowder, stimulant. I still got tons of spark powder. I had to dip into our stone storage, which was great, and then I was like, let's make some gunpowder. So we'll be making up lots and lots of fires. Now that we have a crazy thorny beaver, that's what I'm going to call these from now on. They're not a dragon. They're beavers. <laughs> so yeah, more fires, but we need them. But anyways, we're going to go kill stuff because we are level, what is it, 42? Yeah, 42. We got 90 points. I'm going to save these points. I looked at it. I'm like, what could we learn? And there's a bunch of stuff at 45. Well, I don't know a bunch, but some good stuff. And then 50 is the big one. We get Carno Saddle. We get, um, oh, hello. We get uh, the Grappling Hook. We get a bunch of goodies. So I'm kind of waiting on getting to level 50 so we can learn a bunch of useful stuff rather than the stuff that I don't really need. Like, I was going to do um, a Fabricator, but I was like, what do we need a Fabricator really for? I don't need polymer because I don't know ooh, what to do with it. What is this? It's an egg of well, a parasaur. Okay. Not bad. Throw that on you. Throw that on you. But yeah, we're going to go out and kill some stuff. Try to get some more levels. And maybe if we find a nice car, we can do it. Because I was out and about while I was waiting because I had to get wood, like I said. Lots and lots of wood. And I was like, you know what? We should maybe try and uh, get some stuff. And now when I found that 108. I was taming, I was like, let's try to get some prime with this thing. And it ends up, it's kind of weird. <laughs> like, I killed two Parasers. The first one, I got maybe four pieces of prime with it. With this thing. I attacked completely with this thing. The second time, I used, I killed a Parasaur and I ate it with this thing. I got ten pieces of prime. So it's very wishy-washy as far as trying to get prime. But I think this is really a good one to get. We get us another Carno maybe today. So that when I get to level 50... We can learn the saddles and we can have like a carnal pack going, so let's just find out. Also, we might as well. Ooh, 72 is not bad. Oops. Um, we just gotta find us. No, <laughs> put away the spyglass. Oh, it might have spotted me. No, it's going after that thing. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna knock it out because it's gonna wanna run. This thing, as good as it is, is not very tanky. Um, I'm thinking we're gonna go up here on these rocks a little bit. It's going to course far far away but that's fine there's a saber tooth here I don't think we're ever gonna need a saber tooth I get plenty of hides from everything 
But yeah, these things are pretty useful. Though, I have to warn you, they're a little glitchy. Like, I got stuck underneath the Pariser, both of them, and I thought I was doing damage to it. Instead, I found out on the second turn, they were doing damage to me, and like, it was like I was stepping on me with every foot, so it was like, da 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 I thought I was just doing like a massive amount of attacks on it, and no, it almost killed me. It got like stuck under its feet, and it was just trampling me like super, super quick. Okay, we can't go up there. Like, we need to find a rock so I can get enough tranks into it before it wants to run away. I'm afraid of trying to tank it with this thing. It doesn't have the best health. Like, you think with all that scales on it, it'd have a little bit better defense. Oh, there's another one. What level is this one? 36? That's not too bad. Might as well top off. I might end up killing that one for some prime. Alright, let's go over here. I think if we can get on this rock, we should be able to get an angle. What the heck is that? This is... <laughs> It's a dodicus in the tree. What are you doing up there, dude? Literally, what are you doing up there? There's another one around there someplace. <laughs> he thinks he's a squirrel, I guess. There's a dragon stuck over here. All right, where'd that carno go? A 70, that wouldn't be too bad of a carno to try to get. It's just a matter of knocking it out. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna go on passive. Let's not use the rifle, let's use some trank arrows, and we just want to spam the heck out of these. And then chase it, pretty much. Oh shoot, come on, I gotta get those headshots. Yeah, right there. We're gonna spam them, no counting. Last time I counted, and I think if I would've just spammed it, at the point when it started to run, it would've just gone and fallen asleep. Okay, just get stuck on something else, please. Thank you. Um. No, I can't get a headshot anymore, but we're just going to go for the back. Shoot, I keep hitting the tree. Okay, we're just going to keep spamming. Now he's stuck in between this giant tree. Like the only tree in the desert, dude. You need to get stuck in it. I feel like this is going to be a special car now. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, now we got to chase it. Let's see if we can continue the assault. Like, if it gets stuck, just all you have to do is wait for it to get stuck on something else. Like this rock. Now it's stuck on this rock. Headshot. Boom! Got it. Like, I know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> that kind of surprised me, actually. Alright, I'm going to keep you on passive. Okay. All my arrows are stuck in there. That's fine. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, you son. That's it. I'm getting the big guns out. You want some? You want some? Stand still. Stand still! This is overkill, but I don't care. You just bit my car now. Efficiency. Jerk. Alright, so we're gonna go get some prime now. <laughs> now that we're all cooled off, this thing should be fine. I just gotta look for the giant rock with a carno sticking out of it. <laughs> but yeah, prime. Let's see. Let's go ahead and try after this one carno. And then we should see if we have enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these saber cats just for the giggles. Yeah, this seems okay. I still I would like to get the dossier so I can figure out what the spikes actually do. Like they don't do that much damage to be honest. They take a lot of stamina. I guess maybe just a secondary range attack, which is cool for PvP especially. As long as he's on the wall, you just shoot some spikes at them and they're gonna feel it, but I was hoping it had some kind of effect with it. Oh, here's another saber. But yeah, these things are great. You get, well, I got the ratings, like I said, a little kicked up there, but you get lots more wood from actual trees. These things give way more wood than uh, the little trees. So if you can, just go after the big tree and bring it home. Let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and go after this car now. Real quickly here, just to show you. I think we should be able to take it. I'm going to get some oil, too. Just in case we need it one day. For more fire arrows. And then we'll get a bunch of prime and hopefully we can tame up another carnal for our group. Where did it go? It was here. Well. Oh, there it is. Oh, is it fight? Is it two carnals now over here? There is two carnals over here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we want to get involved. 36 and, um, 
I can't see past the 36. They both oh they're both 36. Alright, you're both dead now. You're both dead. It's a wee too low level for me. Alright, come on. Come on! <laughs> this could have been a horrible idea. Yes, this is a horrible idea. Horrible idea. Horrible idea. Horrible idea. No! No! Where's the gun? Oh, you were so close to being dead. Why? Why? Oh, well, we got Prime. Dang, damn it. <laughs> well, I'm going to be taming up a Cardinal and a Thorny Dragon now. Dang it. That was so close. Oh, man. Coco. Oh, there's another Cardinal. Darn it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to have to pump some weight up now to pack all this stuff on. Well, <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Poopers. All right. It's going okay. I'm still alive. Almost dead. <laughs> well, at least my armor. There's a... Well, it says there's a wild rock elemental up there, level 60. But there was a bird I just landed. I think it's one of those new flying birds from the the last update they did. It had the little bird and they had this bigger bird with the big crest. It had like a two-seater on it. It just landed up there. I want to see its name so I can see what level I can get its saddle at. But I don't know what it was called again. This guy is almost done. So we needed something to get prime if we're going to get that carno. Um, I tried. I have got like lots of meat on it, but it's going to take a while. And if I could get some more points, that'd be great. So we got this guy going, level 32. Oh, I'm going to get like nine levels. So he gives his rock elemental up there. It was a huge bird, though. I might have remembered the name of it. I think it starts with a T. Saddle. No, that won't help any. I don't know what level it is. Tap. I think it's this thing. It looks like a saddle of some sorts. Level 50. Oh. 55 is an RNG, so if we get one of those, that could be a nice little easy getter. Um, but this seems almost done. We'll be able to ride it around. Try to get Prime. It's hard. There's like no Parasers around here. I killed a bunch of Carnos. I only got like two pieces of Prime. Like I said, it's hard when you're doing a hand. Gamma. Three. Anyways, um, it's still sleeping. It's about maybe halfway or so. But I was just hoping to get something going. So here we go. I wanted to see what the name is, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. One of those new birds. I was like, oh, if that was a Quetzal, that'd be nuts. But I don't think it was. No, I'll be back the last update, probably. Oh, I almost forgot about this thing. There it is. Wild. Those survivors have come to call these gargantuan reptile spiny lizards. I believe that so-and-so closestly known relative is the Australian thorny devil. Besides the obvious gap in size, most of the differences between so-and-so is that smaller relatives lie in its thorns. So it shoots thorns like super good. <laughs> it has a saddle and it's tameable. Okay. Instead of being permanent parts of its skin, uh, thorns are more like spines or quills that can be removed and regrown. In fact, it is even capable of shooting these spines from its tail as a method of self defense. And the examination of these projectiles revealed that they are coated in a lethal poison. Domesticated, uh, despite its dangerous spine, are proven an excellent mount for indirect combat, and its ranged attacks can wreak havoc in a pitched battle, particularly if other creatures are taking the enemy's attention. Yeah, just be sure to use a, pro a proper saddle, strap yourself, and secure. Uh, surely use extreme caution while mounting and dismounting. Oh, okay, it doesn't say anything about it being able to gather wood, but there we go, guys think of a name for this thing and I am going to see about trying to get that Carno. Oh, finally did it. Oh, game changer though. Definitely going to be your name. Um, just having that made it so much fun. I got 14 pieces from one pair, sir. Uh, game changer. There we go. We got us that. We got Boulder here. If you got stuck in a rock. I got like two pieces of Prime on that thing. <laughs> the very last pieces I got on it. Oh. Uh, there we go. We're going to cook up some of that. Look at this. I found a little spot though. You could build a little thatch foundation. Put a ceiling off of it. Put a ladder and then build up your wall so you can get on top of the rock. I used that to kill some Carnos that were in the area. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to go home though. <laughs> we're going to try to Get some more levels. We actually leveled up quite a bit. I'm only one away. Shh, damn it. One away 
from getting to level 45, which means we can start having some cool stuff. I think. I don't remember. But, um, we'll find out. And I'll probably end up doing some more taming off camera. Or something. But look at this. It's nighttime, and there's a heat wave going on, which kind of saved us because it was getting really nippy out. <laughs> there you go, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go home with these two. Probably put some more levels on this thing, and we're going to try to do some more taming off camera. But it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Still loving this. Hope you guys are enjoying it, and I will see you next time.